What you keep telling me, relax, they will pay you. My question is when? It's like you've joined this uh, governor with his way political statement. Oh, yes. I mean, how do you expect me to survive? How do you expect a lecturer that has not been paid for three months to go? A family man, a breadwinner. Oh, God will punish this man that calls himself a governor. God will punish him. You don't use such words on your governor. Remember the Bible encourages us to pray for our leaders. That's exactly what I'm doing. Pray for him. Besides, the Bible never gave us a prayer point. That man does not deserve to be pitied at all. I am not the only one saying this prayer, mind you. Virtually all the civil servants are praying for him. And the prayer point, your guess, is as good as mine. Have you heard? What? Have you heard? that pensioners were slumping while they were queuing for their pension. What? Oh yes, yeah, some of them even died. Jesus Christ. Now tell me, how do you expect pensioners to cope? Because he has not paid them for seven months. Anyway, I have decided on what to do. And what is your decision, if I may ask? Very simple. Mm -hmm. My my handouts will now be sold for 3,000 naira. Yes. less. If you want to make an A in my course, you rob my back with 5,000 naira. Hey! God will not forbid. Ah, ah. Honey, have you forgotten whom you are? You are a Christian, an elder in the church. Ah, you shouldn't allow anybody to hear this, please. <laughs> oh, please spare me that. Spare me that. God knows I'm broke. And He knows I need money. Okay? Besides, my colleagues are doing it. Oh, yes. You don't compare yourself with the world. You are light, okay? And the Bible tells us not to conform to this world. Spare me that, please. But I know why you're talking like this. It's because you've not been old. Very soon, the landlord will come knocking for house rent. Now, what are we going to tell him? Not tell me. What do people say when they see me harassed? They will say, a reputable man in the church, a lecturer, cannot afford to pay his house rent. Is everything all right? How can everything be all right? When my husband is not happy. He's not happy and I'm not happy. Pastor, he hardly eats these days. Because for the past three months, Pastor, three good months, they have not paid them salary. It's affecting him. And you, you know my husband very well. He's this kind of man that, that likes to face his responsibility as a man. That's all right, Sister Jane. It's okay. I, I want to be a very strong faith, very stronger faith in the Lord. Our good Lord is going to be it for me. As long as you can know it, your father will be paid. Okay. Yeah. So meanwhile, I have to go into prayers. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may be surprised with this urgent summer. Yes, sir, I am. I called you here to give you a meritorious accolade. A meritorious accolade? I still don't get you, sir. Okay, let me explain. You see, uh, ever since you got into this company, we have been making tremendous outputs. Our income has tripled. You've been saying that, sir. 
Thank you very much. Our challenger's output is attributed to your diligent and smart image. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're very welcome. And as a result of this, um, we have met the, I met with the um, board members and um, we have unanimously decided to, um, yes, we have um, decided to promote you and double your salary. Thank you, sir. 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 Oh, Jesus. Sir, I, I, I really appreciate this, sir. Thank you. It's alright. Um, you believe me. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Ah! Did you send news? No. The only news is that uh, the strike was about to uh, back on the governor hotel. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very, very serious. He is even threatening that anybody that does not go back to his work, he will sack the person with immediate effect. That is so callous of him. I mean, how could he expect us to continue like that? Eh? No salary. What is the joy? What is the happiness? What is the motivation? What are you working for? My dear, if not the little, little money I expect from the students, from handout and the textbook and certain, I don't even know what uh, would have become the fate of my family by now. That man will never come out for any post again. He can never come out to contest any public office again because I will not vote for him and I know nobody will. <laughs> Look at you. He does not depend on your food. Whether you vote him or not, he will still want to his way to any office that he wants. That's the man for you. Never. It will never happen unless there is no more God in heaven. Okay. Not when everybody is angry with him. Hmm. I know that God. I know that God one day will hear the cry of the poor masses. Amen. It. Amen. That's for you, my friend. Mm. I'll keep warning you. And I'll keep advising you to desist from this your dubious character towards these poor students. Because there will be a day of reckoning. My dear, everyone is guilty. The president, the governor, the VC. Look, the entire system is corrupt. If God will punish, He will punish every one of us together. Let me ask you, do you know how much I spend for my children's school fees and even my rate? Look, if not for the certain, <laughs> by now I would have been in the village with my family. And you think it will continue like this? Of course not. We pray for them. See, mm -hmm. I know that God in heaven is coming with his changing power. Definitely he will turn things around. Okay. And everything will change for good. It's okay, uh, let's wait for the change. Eh? But I will ask you, I will advise you as a good friend of mine, join us in the certain. Otherwise, before you know it, hunger will send you to the village, you and your family. I will send you. Okay. Yes. You are the weak and you are strong. Yes. Uh, I am the strong. <laughs> Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for the, this promotion that you gave my wife. Amen. And we also thank you in a special way for using my wife to bless our family. We say may all thanksgiving be ascribed unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Watch the heart of our problems with Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This will ask through Christ's Amen. Amen. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, my baby. I love you.
Oh, sit down. So, how are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? Well, I'm fine, as you can see. It's just that these people have refused to pay us our salary. Don't worry about that. They will soon pay you. Well, I hope so. So, my dear, uh, as you can see, I'm very busy. So, I would advise you go straight to the point. Okay, sir. It's nothing much. Just that I saw my first semester master's results and I discovered I made a B. So, I came with this token to appreciate. Eric, really keep your money because I won't take it from you. Oh, yes. Why, if I may ask? You actually studied very hard, and that earned you a high grade in my course. So I don't see a reason why your success should be attributed to me. Besides, if you hadn't studied hard, you'd fail woefully. You know me very well, I don't give room for sentiments. So I would advise you to keep your money and keep studying hard. But you told me that you have not been paid. No. When have you become the government that pay me salary? You are beginning to get on my nerves. I'm so sorry about that. Why? I don't appreciate that. Have a nice day, sir. I'll keep studying that, okay? okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank God for giving you me as my wife. Because most of the time I just imagine how frustrating life would have been without you. No, it's okay. We give all thanks to God. You know? He knows the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm only a vessel he's using to bless our family. Yeah, honestly. And this vessel I really appreciate so much. Because a life would have been miserable for me in the hands of that idiot that calls himself our governor. Hmm. There you go again. You know I don't like it whenever you insult him. Hmm? You know, God can still use him. Listen, the Bible says that the heart of a king is in the hands of God. And like water, he terminates them the way he likes. Okay? Yeah. Alright. I'm sorry. Alright. I'm really sorry for using that word. Nice. You know I love you so much. I love you more. See. Mm -hmm. I have a poem for you. Wow. A poem? Mm-hmm. When did you write it? Oh, I did not write it. I have it in my head. I'm sorry, sir. I've forgotten you are a lecturer. Oh, you need to so, stop appreciating me. <laughs> let's hear it. Okay. Yes, I want to talk to you. Okay. What is it? What? Mm, about your friend, Mike. Mike? Yes. What about him? Mm. What you tell me about him makes me to see him as a despicable person. I detest him, especially because of the way he treats these students. I know what you're trying to say. But the truth of the matter is that Mike and I are not friends and will never be. He's just a colleague in my workplace and you don't expect me to keep malice with him, do you? No, no, no not at all. Just that I want you to try and... I understand. I know what you are trying to say, my love. And don't you worry yourself, because I'm fine. Trust me. So enough about my, enough of my friends. Let's talk about us. Alright. So tell me, what do I prepare for him? Why 
are you running as if uh, someone is after you? I hope all is well. Come on, talk to me. What's the problem? There is a problem. It's about the course I wrote. What about the course? Ma, 343. I wrote it as a carryover course. Okay. And I still did not write to her. I'm afraid I don't want to fail.
I can also see you have uh, beautiful, sophisticated girls in your company too. Well, I can say it's the most to it. And I thank you for that. Well, I'll advise you be careful. I just hope your relationship with them is strictly on business. All walks and no play makes jacket up boy. Yeah. I play with all of them, except one that is proven stubborn. One proven stubborn? Must it be the one I met here the last time? Yes, Jane. Are you okay? Man, you told me that woman is married. Forget about marriage. She even told me that her husband is a lecturer. And not where these lecturers live and sleep with students. She needs help. I want to help her. Come on. Well, it's your game. You play it the way you want. So, tell me, how are you planning on getting her since you told me she's proving her to get? Cassidy. You want to learn my skills. <laughs> Why? By the time I am done, I'll let you know. I will give you the good news. <laughs> okay, I have some. Okay, all the same, I'm happy for you, bro. Cassie! Surprised about you. What do you mean? I mean, you do virtually everything. As if you don't have a husband. You don't even act like a society lady. I told you time and time and time that I'm not a society lady, okay? I'm a Christian. A heavenly citizen. Oh, stop. Let's face the reality. You do the cooking, you do your house chores, you even do school work, and you still want to go for a PTA meeting. Damn. Enough, Lizzie. I said enough. I really appreciate your concern, okay? But please, I would like to give you this warning to stay away from my family issues. Yes, I love my husband and I can even do more for him because my Bible says I should submit to him. Please, if you don't mind, I would like to take my leave now because you are really getting on my nerves. Yes, please. Okay. I would love to lock my office. Who's there for me? Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, who are you and why are you dressed up like this? I'm sorry, sir. My name is Linda. The one Mr. Mike told me about the retail accounts. Mike told me you were his cousin, but never told me you were a shameless stripper. Even like women, are you sure he is biological? Okay, I mean, as a man, look at me now. What other men are dying for? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many men that want me on that bed? Mm -hmm. That is what I gave to this stupid idiot freely, willingly. See, the major concern now is I don't want to feed that cause. How do we go about don't it? Go okay, okay. Just see me tomorrow. I'll tell you what to do. But uh, uh, you give me today to say yes. Yes.
Not inside. Nothing. Come on, say something. Nothing. Just take care of it. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that. I have to get you something. So what can I get for you? Anything. Just get anything, sir. Anything except something. Sir. Uh, okay, I'll get something. Alright, that's cool. Uh, yeah, keep this in the office. Yes, sir. Not that it's those fruits. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright then. She has not done anything to show that she ends more than me. Don't be the same. Mr. John, whether you believe me or not, I've told you the simple truth. Suppress her and honest. Otherwise, the spirit will be your greatest teacher. Anyway, I have a class with my teachers to let me. about the thing I told you before I travel. Sir, there is nothing to think about. I told you that very day that I'm not interested. Look, Jane, um, you don't have to rush to give me an answer. I just want you to know that I am crazy about you. I care about you. I want to take care of you. I will do anything for you. Just know that I love you. Look around me. Just look around me. Can't you see that I love you? Sir, apart from the fact that I'm a married woman, I am a Christian and is against my belief. Sir, I suggest you expunge that concept of love from your mind because it can't work. I think I've made my point. Yes, but I... Please, sir. I was busy in the office before you sent for me. I beg to take my leave, sir. I'll get you. Hi! 
will get you. I will get you. This is the first time I'm going out with it. You know I like good things. <laughs> what do you have to say about Jane's recent promotion? I don't have anything to say about it. I mean, she's very hardworking and she's lucky to have such a promotion, do you? You think so? I think she's having an affair with the manager. Hell no. I'm not doing too well. She's a staunch Christian and she will never compromise her Christianity. In our world now, you cannot get anything from either the manager or the board if you don't. Don't what? Jane is not what you think she is. I mean, come think of it. What would you achieve sleeping with the manager? <laughs> yeah, you just leave that thing. Anything is possible as long as you pay your dues. I don't want to argue about it, okay? Let's just keep our finger crushed. Bruce, where's your mother? Where's your mother? Shut up your mother out for me! Come at me! What nonsense! What's the problem? What has come over you? What gave the impetus to go and pay this rent? I'm sorry. Just that the landlord frequent visit and the threat was becoming embarrassing. So, I had to pay. I'm sorry. Even at that, you don't have right to do such a thing. You have no right to do that, you know. How can you say a thing like that? I gave you this money last month, and all you could tell me was that you invested it in MMM. Of course. Am I denying it? I invested it in MMM so I can make some money this month. So after paying the house rent, I will have some money to hold on to myself. You know I've not been paid. You listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. You took 500,000 Naira. Our money that should be used for house rent and you invested it in Ponzi scheme and you expected me to be happy about it. No. Like I said before, I have to do it to save us the shape of being thrown out of this house. You should have allowed me to sell down the landlord first. It's not going behind me to go and pay the house rent. No, I get it. No, 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 I understand. <laughs> you want the landlord and everybody to know you are the breadwinner in this house, right? Don't because I have not been paid, right? Can you say this? You know that I did it. Don't oh, shut up your mouth! You only tell me you did it for me. That's a lie! You did it for yourself. You did it just for your selfish interest. For your self-aggrandizement. Just to boost your ego. You want to walk shoulder high just because you paid. Come on, ask friend. What is wrong with you? Now let me warn you. This is the last time such a thing will happen in this house. If it ever happens again in this house, I will deal with you mercilessly. Fool. Please. Don't you use such abusive words from me. I am going to use it over and over again and nothing will happen. And let me warn you, if you don't take your time in this house, I'm going to stop it. Try this. Try this and I will make you regret every bit of it. Leave me alone. Come back again. Come. Oh, you've grown wings, right? You've grown wings. Bless you. 
Gott, vergib mir, ich bin jetzt am Zurück. Vergib mir, ich bin jetzt am Zurück. Und ich bin jetzt am Zurück. The battle line is drawn. This is just the beginning, okay? So you had better wipe out those pretentious crocodile tears of yours because it does not move me. See, by the time I finish with you and your money, both of you will rot in hell. for some days now. They, I know when you're okay and when you're not. And I know it's not your menstrual flow. Why can't you believe me when I say that I'm fine? Because it's unbelievable. I know when you're okay. This is not the cheerful Jane I used to know. Okay, enough. You win. Hmm? Yes, I believe the fact that I've not been myself for some days now. But I would prefer to be left alone. I'll, I'll sort it out myself, okay? No problem if you insist, but just know I miss the chair for you. Do. I don't like this, so I don't like it. What, what don't you understand? What? It's over three weeks since we made love last. Mm? So why is it stipulated that couples must make love before the moon turns out? Where? Don't you know that sex brings couples together? Mm? And makes their union stronger. And the Bible says... Hey! Don't bring the Bible to back up your nymphomaniac tendencies. Leave the Bible alone, please. Did you say that to me? Exactly. Yes, I did. Because you won't allow me to rest in this room. You won't allow me to have peace every time you sex in, sex out, sex up, sex down. Ah! So you said it the second time and then the first time. If I recall vividly, this is the third time that this is happening. What is going on? 
no change. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. Jay, 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 Jay. I beg on you. Talk to me. What is the problem? I have asked you several. You don't want to tell me. What is the problem, Jay? I am your boss and you can talk to me. Sir, if you must know, it is a family issue and it's meant to be between me and my husband. I don't think it's right for me to tell you, sir. But I promise I will be fine. I'll be fine, sir. Jay, I just want you to know that you can tell me anything, okay? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Can I go back to my office and correct it? Yes, sir. When you've been going through all this all alone, you didn't bother to tell me. My dear, who will I talk to? That painful ordeal doesn't sound good to me here at all. It's okay. I mean, you've been strong and you've moved on with your life. That's why I hate men. Easy. You hate men? Yes, I hate them with strong passion. Tell me, how can you feed a man, pay his rent, Take care of his kids, and all you could get as an appreciation is this. Come on, Lizzie. I've told you not to say this again. I don't like it. Please. I don't. Please. I will keep on saying it, and I won't stop saying it. I hate men. I had no man deserve me to be in this house, and I will never get married to a man. What? So you get married to a woman then? Lizzie. Whatever. May God have mercy on your soul. In fact, you need a deliverance. God! Mama, where is Walter? He went out for a meeting. He went out for a meeting? Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he has refused picking my calls? Huh? Okay, woman. Listen and listen real good. Thou join your husband that next time I will be coming here for my money, I will come with the place. Yes, I will come with the place and I will deal with him mercilessly. By the time I finish with him, he will regret the day he was born. It's a promise. I will make sure he smells the wrong. It's a promise. How much is he for you? Oh, you're asking me? You're asking me? He's owing me 100,000 naira. 100 good thousand naira for months now. Was that agreement that he got to the borrow that money from me? Enough. Then to pay, he's not finding very difficult. Here is your check. I hope you know the consequences of bounce check. Go and cash your money. Uh -uh. You want to? You want? You want? You want to invite the, the whole neighborhood? Let him go and take his stars. Let him go and take his task. He has a good wife like you. Rubbish. Tomorrow he will come for another one. Yes, baby. I want to thank you so much for helping me pay up that debt. Honestly, it has been a bother for me. Never mind. It's nothing, okay? But what can't I do for my husband? You are such an angel and I love you so much. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> See that? Can we make love tonight? I'm sure that's right. I'm sure.
What is your problem? Can't you see I'm watching Bob? Why are you spinning around? So what is it about your new hairstyle? Is that why I cannot concentrate on watch ball? Please step aside. Oh, what is your problem? What is your problem? Let me miss the goal now. Eh? See, if you don't take your time in this house, I will do something very funny. Since you obviously allowed this Satan to use you, I will be saying. To stop this unhappy family disposition is not helping you. You can continue this way. See, I'm really tired. I don't know what to do. Just keep trying. It's going to work. How will you stay here crying over a man that is having a good time in his office? You can continue like this. Dizzy, I've tried. But things keep getting worse. Just keep on trying. Just keep trying. It may not be spontaneous, but it's going to work. Okay? I'm sorry to say, but it might sound like a bad advice. Just get yourself a sweet guy. I mean, a guy that's going to make you feel on top of the world. A guy that's going to make you special. Lazy. Yes. It's better than staying here crying all day for a man you don't know what he's doing outside. Just get yourself a sweet guy. Moreover, you don't know what he's doing over there. Huh? He's definitely having an affair outside. Men can go a day, or should I say, they can't, they can't stay too long without having sex. Believe me. It's the truth. Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ? Eh? I cannot have peace in my house because of ordinary birthday. 
What is all this nonsense? Oh, 
Listening to yourself. Have this woman cast a spell on you or something? Come on, Why are you talking like this? Why are you giving me this devilish counsel? It's like I will start avoiding you. Why would you want to give me an advice that would tear my family apart? I am so disappointed in you. Anyway, I wouldn't have to stand here and preach this song to you. If you will excuse me. Just stand up, just stand up, please. Oh, 
Please tell me. You know what? Mm -hmm. That your governor has finally paid us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, I bless your holy name. What a marvelous God. Oh, Lord. wait. What? Don't over rejoice because his attitude, I understand. He didn't just pay us. I know why he paid us. He why? paid us because he wants our vote in the forthcoming election. Hmm. Honey, stop. It's not true. He paid because the God wants him to pay. Okay? Well, I'm the same. <laughs> so you don't know how angry and how devastated I've been all this while I've been broke. Oh, Father, yeah? bless you. Thank you, Lord. Okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. This calls for celebration. Oh, okay, no problem. I can't wait. So tell me, where do we start from? Uh, I will start by leaving the house. First of all, we're going to the house today. Okay. My restaurant and right. have a lunch. As you can see, I'm good to go. I know you do. Tell me your reason, whatever the reason may be, we need that one. Yes, I, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I never wanted anyone to catch on me to stay in back there. Moreover, I took the decision for our own good. Our own good? How yes. do you mean? Yes. You know, I needed time to take proper care of you. Yeah. And apart from the fact that they have started paying your salary, I was able to save some money that will sustain us in case I don't get another job so soon. Hmm? Meanwhile, I had a lot of temptations in that office. Yes, and the Bible says that if your finger will cause you to sin, just cut it off. And that's why I, I, I have to take the decision. Sorry. Well, it's okay. It's alright. The only thing I'm praying is that God will give you a better job than the one you had in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm supposed to be mad at me. Oh, oh no. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
doctor, like, like I said, to run a test is not important. Yes, it's not, it's not necessary. Get off. Wait a minute. Madam, we are still talking. Where is she going to? How could Jane resign without even telling me? The worst of it all is that she doesn't even pick my calls. I think there is more to this than meets the eye. Anyway, she has a life to live. I think I should just let her be. Yes. 
to school this morning and we were shocked with the news of how Mike was set up by a girl he was having illicit affair with. Mike? Set up? Yeah. How? The girls put the camera in the room where they were making love and recorded all their sexual activities. Jesus. In fact, this camera caught Mike both video and pictures that night. God, that was bad. Well, when the news broke up this morning, my lack of shame had to run away from school. Of course, I can't understand it. And maybe the first time someone heard about it, he sacked me again. Now that they have sacked him, tell me, how will he take care of his family? Especially the wife. How will she cope? Oh, uh, that stuff's are right. It's up to them. Yes, because all this while that the husband has been extorting money from students on campus, she never had him to desist from that. Really? She was a genuine woman. Hey! Now let her enjoy the scandal and the sack. Hey! I feel for her. And then that's not the problem, man. Hmm. I am tired. I need to sleep. She sounds nice. Let's go for you. Thank you.
Something is really wrong with my wife. She's been feeling uneasy these days. How can I help her out? God, please help me. has a drastic effect on the patient. Very, very drastic effect. Ranging from perforation of the womb, if not conducted properly, to incessant bleeding of the patient after the abortion and when the abortion is not conducted properly too. And above all, the loss of life. Doctor, doctor, I, I'm aware of that before coming to this place. But I still insist on having the abortion. Okay. I insist. Ethically, we don't just go into such without explaining the drastic effect coherently to the patient. I must explain it so that you understand what you're about to plunge into. Okay. One of the things abortion does to you, madam, is that it causes mental malady. I mean, you just kill someone and the person's blood will keep calling on you. You abort it. You know, when you abort, you kill. So the person will keep disturbing you. It may even cause, you know, insulin and memory. And you have to understand that. Doctor, allow me to carry my cross. Oh. Just do your own and leave my path. Okay? Do your job and leave my path. Eh? Or don't you want to do your job? Madam, Madam, I will suggest you allow me to finish what I want. Finally, finally, going into abortion turns you to a mother and who makes you a sinner. And the Bible tells me that all sinners will go to hell. Enough, doctor! Uh -uh. What is all this now? I'm here for you to do your business. Or do you think I didn't see other hospital before coming to this place and you're here preaching to me? The next thing you ask me how I make love to my husband or how I feed my, 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 my kids. What is all this? You're preaching me to give my life to Christ? Do you, do you know me? Do you know who I am? Excuse me! Right. 
So that your sins will be forgiven. We need that message. We need that message. We need that message. We need that message. Thank you. 